As we all know, MAD is about the middle class, about bringing jobs to our area, good paying jobs, about not letting anyone touch social security, about veterans rights and the rights of seniors. And he's brought those values down to DC and he's also assumed many leadership positions. As we know, he's on the Appropriations Committee and he's on the Government and Oversight Committee. And on those committees, he's done great work. And I hope with your help and your continued support that he will be elected for a fourth term and represent the new district, the 8th Congressional District. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my husband and our congressman, Matt Cartwright. And, and, and how about a round of applause for my wife, attorney Marion Munley. But I do work hard at it, and I try to, try to do what you want me to do, and, and that is to bring the values of Northeastern Pennsylvania down to Washington. Uh, there's, uh, there's something in the water down there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, somebody told me it, it might be Prozac. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, there's an awful lot of uh, uh, food fighting and bickering and just general not getting along down there that, that doesn't need to go on, but it does. And uh, you know, I work hard at making friends on both sides of the aisle and bringing some of our, our sense of decency that we have around here down to Washington. And, uh, and, and uh, being pragmatic and making things work and making them go and, and keeping the government open and things like that. Um, I work hard at those things. But at the same time, you know I'm a Democrat, and I'm not going to get rid of my Democratic values. <laughs> and I have to say, there, there, are, there are times when uh, uh, you have to draw a line in the sand, and you have to fight. Uh, and that's what, uh, you know, that's what Marion and I have done for the last 30 years. Uh, in northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, for me, 25 years as a lawyer, for her, 30 years as a lawyer, sticking up for regular f working families uh, that are you know, facing long odds and, and uh, insurmountable obstacles. And we were doing it in court, Marion and I, o over that space of time. And in the last five years, I've been doing it down in Washington. And, uh, and, and, and you know, the truth is, uh, you need a fighter down there. The working families do need a fighter in Washington. Uh, the regular, everyday people uh, need somebody sticking up for them down there. And, and by God, I'm proud to do it. Because there are things going on down there. There's a crowd down there, not all of them, but there's a significant crowd down there that do not have the best interests of the ordinary working people at heart. Uh, they are people down there who would reduce social security increases every year. Are we going to have any of that? No. no. There are people that would cut public education funds. Do we want that? No. No. That's, the, that's how, you, that's how the, you, you get the American dream these days. That's how equality becomes a reality and not just some kind of a, a theory in this country. Uh, and op, and what's, it's what makes opportunity real in this country. And, and uh, there's Eddie Day Pashinsky, and he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> And sticking up for the, the regular working people, you know, sticking up for, for labor rights. You know, there's a crowd down there that wants to do away with public labor unions. Are we going to stand for that? No. no. There's Mike Carroll over there. He's the, chi the dean of the Northeast Caucus down in Harrisburg. A true champion for labor rights and collective bargaining. I'm proud to work with these gentlemen, and I see a lot of uh, public officials here that I'm very proud to work alongside of. 
Uh, but we have this fight going on. You know, uh, there are those down in Washington that don't care about clean air and clean water, and they would roll away all of the protections uh, that, that guarantee us those things as American rights to clean air and clean water. Are we going to stand for that? No. no. No, we need to fight for these things, uh, and and we need to we need to uh, we need to win elections. You know, we need to get people on the ballot that will fight for these things. And uh, you know, we just had this great redistricting in Pennsylvania, which all of a sudden there's a lot of fair fights going on in Pennsylvania, and there's one coming this next Tuesday night down in uh, southwestern Pennsylvania. Watch that closely. Connor Lamb is a good friend of mine. Uh, he's an ex-Marine, uh, he's an ex-assistant uh, U.S. attorney, a prosecutor, a solid guy. Uh, read up about that, watch that race closely because uh, Connor Lamb is fighting for the very same things that I'm fighting for. And when he gets up there and he talks about his, his funny Marine haircut, you know, and sticking up for the veterans, there are people in Washington that would put the veterans second and not first. Are we gonna, st are we gonna stand for that? No. no. We have so many veterans and the seniors. Marion mentioned, uh, mentioned it. There, uh, there are people in Washington and, and Paul Ryan is their leader who would, who would balance the budget, who would balance the budget on the backs of senior citizens. Are we gonna stand for that? No. No, and they talk openly about cutting the annual increases for Social Security. Anybody here who knows a senior who's living solely on Social Security old age benefits, you know it's about $1,305 a month. And every year the seniors, they, they open up the letter and they see what their annual increase is going to be and it's tiny and it doesn't even cover the increase in their medication prices. You know that. And I'm here to tell you, it's Paul Ryan and his crowd that want to cut the annual increases to Social Security. Are we going to sit still for that? No. No, we're not. So I'm here to say, it's my pleasure and it's my pride to stand up for all of you and all of the regular working people in northeastern Pennsylvania down in Washington. It's a lot of hard work and it's a, an awful lot of time away from, from Marion and from home, uh, but it's something that, that uh, I consider an honor to do. Uh, it's something that I think I'm built for, uh, to stick up for the, for the regular people. Um, you know, uh, w uh, one thing we have to do is make sure they don't steal all of the health care away from everybody. And, and we have to do, yeah. <laughs> and maybe more than anything, we have to make sure that pharmaceutical prices stop their astronomic rise so that people who are sick don't have to choose between taking their prescri prescription drugs and eating or paying their rent because that is so important uh, and there are things that we can do. Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, we are that close for the, from the Democrats regaining the majority in the United States House of Representatives and if that happens, that's right. If that happens, we can do these things. We can do a proper job of standing up for the veterans and the seniors and for public education and for collective bargaining rights and for clean air and clean water and, and, and for making an economy that works for everybody, not just the privileged few. So I'm here to say thank you for coming out. Thank you for agreeing to sign my petitions. Thank you for agreeing to circulate my petitions. Uh, uh, let's win this race. I'm in a race this year, and I need your help. So uh, uh, talk to Colleen and figure out how you can volunteer in other ways. Uh, we need to win this election, and we need to win a lot more uh, to take care of all of these priorities that all of us in this room share together. Thank you so much, everybody.